It's Thursday. That means Mad Dog and Meryl are here. Well, half the team is here today. Yes, yes. The, the better half. The better half. You know, my blood pressure is down. <laughs> I just, I feel relieved. I can't believe how good I feel. No, that's great. How are you, Holly? I'm, I'm great. How are oh, you? Oh, I'm doing good. Well, I'm, I'm glad good, you're good. here because everything smells and looks delicious. Well, it again. is. And I'm going to show you some great, you know, obviously for me, everything is definitely simplified. You know, when, well, when sure. I do things. And simple is great. Uh, yeah, it is. I do have some appetizers and we're actually going to be doing a, a dessert too, but my you know, you, you cannot go wrong with cream cheese, for That's sure. Right. Now, what I've got here, I've got two blocks of some cream cheese. You want to let that get a little bit of room temperature there. Okay. And, you know, I did a little bit of artwork. I don't know what I designed there. Is it was this, sort of like a... Is this the symbol? Yeah, it's a road as map or something. Might, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's but, an interesting uh, combination yeah, in here, though. Yeah, so I got a little bit of hickory barbecue sauce out there. But this is sort of a uh, cheese spread. Uh, sort of what we call Mexican style. So obviously Mexican style, you got to have a little green pepper on. Well, there. yeah, I got to spice it up a little. Makes like some really it. nice different. Now, if you wanted to, you could use some jalapenos. I could have even used some black olives to spread that on the top. Uh, then obviously a little red tomatoes on there. Now this is what's going to make it look really crispy, right, though. Right, right. And you could use this actually as a uh, as a dip if you really want to get that soft. And I'm going to definitely use crackers on this. Okay. But spread that around. And then you know what goes good with anything nowadays. Is good old bacon. Uh, <laughs> this I went ahead and got the pre-cooked bacon. Why not? You know, it makes it a lot easier. Sure. You know, you don't have to to mess anything up. You can do this way ahead of time, but you sprinkle it on top. And then cheese is the cheese. Next one. I'll let you add the old cheese. You could add that. Now on this top. whole cup. Yeah, you could sprinkle that on a little okay. bit there on there for it. So maybe not all the cheese. No, maybe not all the cheese. Maybe like that much. I like that. I like that. Okay. See, look at that beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and you can use that there again. For actually like a dip or with on crackers. They got the crackers, but uh, I forgot to bring them out for you. That was so easy, easy though. Perfect. Well, hey, hey, everything I do is easy. <laughs> Trust good, me, it's nothing hard. I it's can't follow hard. anything complicated. Oh, oh, no, no, that's not complicated, <laughs> right? So, people know what was on it again? It was just two blocks of cream cheese. You could use some onions if you wanted to, black olives, green olives, tomatoes if mm. you want, top it with some cheese. Appetizer, and then we move on to dessert. Dessert, here. this is very, very hard. Uh -oh. oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know how many times we've done this this dessert. Uh, it's actually like the old Girl Scouts, Boy Scout used to do this campfire cobbler. I'm using some regular classic white uh, cake mix. You can use choice. yellow if you want sure. to. Now, uh, this is real hard. Get ready. Real, real hard. I got two 16 ounce cans of peaches. Undrained, all right? Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could use, like, if you wanted to use cherries or wanted to use raspberries, whatever. And then you take the cake mix. You dump it in. Then you sprinkle, dump that in. <laughs> this looks really complicated. Oh, it is. Oh, gosh. It's so complicated. I'll tell you, Mad Dog can figure it out. <laughs> That's why you're here That's today. That's why I'm here today. Okay. All right, so it's just one kick mix. You go ahead and spread it out. And then do you Use bake your hands. this or anything? Now, you're going to bake this. Now, what I'm going to do also is I've got some butter here. I'm going to put the little squares of butter across here, checkerboard it. Mm -hmm. All right. Stick it in an oven, a 350 degree oven. And this is our finished product? This is our finished product. All right, let's take a look real quick That's very here. good, very good, very good. But look at this. So oh, simple. Oh, this is beautiful. Easy to do. That is it. So very easy. easy. You use any type of fruit that, that you wanted to on there. But I think everybody's got that. Two 16 ounce cans of any type of fruit. White Super mix, easy. No problem. butter on top, 350 degree oven. All right, That's so simple. for more easy recipes, you can check out Mad Dog and Merrill's show called Midwest Grillin' Sundays on WACY, My New 32 at 11 a.m.